Okay guys, I'm going to show you my kit. Um, <clears throat> what's on top is a, um, something that I can mix, uh, foundation or pigments or mix anything I want. So I have that. Um, sorry I got gum in my mouth, let me take it out. So, this is what I have at top. I have my mascaras. Um, most of these are samples, sample mascaras that I have picked up um, during, like, Sephora when they give you different things or whatever. I just collect the uh, mascaras. All right, all right. If it's a hundred part point, I get the mascaras. This is uh, my spatula, my um, my little thing for putting lashes on if I wanted to. I have two of them. I have this one from Sephora, the little grip, and I also have some um, scissors if I want to cut some lashes um, all of this right here are primers um, again samples that I have picked up Urban Decay Urban Decay this is a face uh, primer uh, Smashbox um, this is one I had a while back. I just put it in here. This is the Too Faced Insurance um, Eye Primer. Have some Makeup Forever sample primers for. I, I really wanted these for people who has um, dry skin. And this is the smoothing primer. This is the Too um What is this? Um, Violet Voss's um, glitter adhesive. Um, I got this as a sample. This is the Hourglass um, Primer, Face Primer. This is the Lorac Eye Primer. It came with the Lorac Palette. And the Sample Benefits um, Poreless Primers. I have my little bottle of alcohol. Um... My lip glitters, these are, um, I have gum in here too, you already know. Um, I have my MAC Black Track liner, and I also have this one from NYX gel liner. And I have one, this Wet n Wild, which I don't like, and that's how I ended up getting, um, the NYX one. Then I just went ahead and got the MAC one, because I have my discount. Um, I also have a black ground paint pot. Then I have this is a chroma line. I don't know why it's in here. Okay. Um, then I have this Studio Scope Concealer NW50. I also have a pure white pit, um, chroma line, and I also have painterly paint pot. So, and I also got these little sample. I have these sample um, primers too, and I also have the Smashbox pore minimalizer. Oh, and this right here is um, from Krylon I bought. It's supposed to, um, you can add this to make a cream foundation into a liquid. Um, yeah. So I have that. And I have also have like powders or setting powders. This is the Derma Blend setting powder. And I also have some I depotted. This is the cover effects. Um, setting powder and this one is the oh they both cover effects okay so 
So that's the top part. Now that I got it all junky. Okay. This is the second one. Um, by the way, I just bought another kit. And I'm probably going to end up getting another one because um, this one came kind of lopsided. And I'm not really feeling like the layout of everything. So I'm probably going to end up getting a Zuka. Maybe. I'm not sure. So anyways, this is my palette. Um, this is a Tarte palette that I have recently um, got for the holiday collection. And I know it looks kind of busted, but it has, um, I sprayed it with alcohol and then I closed it. And so the top part in the, the top part in this around it kind of adhered to it. I had to pull it apart. But it's still disinfected, so yeah, it has some browns in it. Um, also, I have a Urban Decay palette I disinfected and put in here because I haven't used it in forever. Along with this, these two Inklot um, palettes I got when I was in Vegas. I have a nude um, nude tude um, palette that I have in here also have a makeup forever um, what is it flash color palette and there this is my lipsticks and has all my names on them this is my lipstick palette It's a MAC palette that I just um, I put the inserts in is like the two-sided ones so I have all my lipsticks there you go right up in here that I depotted okay at the bottom is my MAC palettes uh, I have three these are my bolder colors my nudes another kind of nude with like certain um, blue colors in it I also have some lipstick samples that I got from um, Urban Decay that I will probably give away to my clients. Also has some, uh, well I gotta pick up some more, but I have some um, MAC lipsticks that I like to give away to my clients too. So this is the second. Also this is my Anastasia um, brow powders. So I have every color that I will ever need right there okay now this is my concealers my bronzers I have one random um, blush right there my uh, midnight powders um, and other like my uh, mascara wands um, I just got these these um these little jars I have some pigments. These one, these ones right here are pigments. I have one, two, three, four, four pigments, and I no, I have two things of pigments. Excuse me, these are the pigments, and then I have one with glitters in it. So in one of my old um, foundation that I have not used in forever from Bobby Brown. This is in Espresso, Tin Espresso, so it's very dark. Um, so yeah, all of these right here are my bronzers, and then I have my sponges. I have another sponge somewhere around. So that's the third one. Okay, this is the last one, and there's some drawers down below. We're getting to this top part first. Um, these are my lip glosses. I think I'm not in focus. These are the lip glosses. I have some, um, sample ones from NARS, Urban Decay. I have a NYX and some Ulta. 
one clear one that is a LA color clear one right here these right here are my lip liners I have NYX and Mac yeah two Mac ones um yeah and the rest is NYX lip liners I have some brow stuff I have a dip brow from NYX two of them um my Mac um eyebrow pencils and a prolonged waterproof brow set right here Mm, these are my leftover lipsticks from Buxom, um, Colourpop, sample lipsticks from NARS, um, uh, yeah, and one Urban Decay one and a Bite Cosmetic one right there. Those right there are my eyeliners. I have a jumbo eyeliners um, from... Uh, Wet n Wild and Mac, NYX, Rimmel. Um, yeah, these are all my eyeliners. Okay, these are highlighters. I got my bag full of highlighters. I have my liquid highlighters, and I have powdered. I have my Smashbox, um, my Sephora one, Wet n Wild, um, Benefit, um, I have a Josie, Josie Moran, two of those, and I have Hourglass, Ambient Light and Radiant Light, I have Mary Luminizer, I have my Laura Mercier, um, I forget what the name of that highlighter is, and I have some sample ones in there as well. Right there at the bottom is all my setting sprays and lotions. I have um, Max Strobe Cream for um, hydrating. Have a Scandinavia setting spray. Another Scandinavia um, NYX. I have a Becca an Urban Decay. I think this is like a prepping spray. I have two of those. I have a Max Fix Plus. Um, Max Charge Water. I have an Urban Decay. Um, this one is the D Slick. So yeah, that's that one one top part until I get to the drawer. I also have this highlighter I got from Ulta. This is from Revlon. This is a bronzy type of highlighter. So let's get into that second drawer right here. Um I have Lashes, some foundations. I um, have my old uh, Make a Favor foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible. I have this um, two NARS foundations and this sample of Tint uh, Le Tint uh, YSL, the old formula foundation this is the matte sheer glow this is in Bernard's and I think this one is Tatuga sorry so these are leftover foundations that I decided to put in my kit instead of um, having it in for myself then I have 
two leftover black opal stick foundations um mac liquid foundation face and body this one is in in nine and oh I'm wondering this is that this is my oil control lotion <clears throat> this is um this one's old but this is a contour um powder contour for makeup forever this is uh my derma blend foundation that i depotted and put in one of my kits then i got sleek contour kit then i have the stila contour kit it's um very it's in deep but it's just too um slick for my skin um, i think it works better with dry um, people with dry skin um, then I have my Graftobian, my Graftobian um, foundations and color correctors, and I have a color corrector from Mac in there, and a out of place um, concealer. So yeah, that's the third row, okay, and I'm these are my foundations. I have a Ben Nye. Um, olive brown matte foundation. I also have a Graftobian um, HD foundation. This one is in warm. Um, I have a palette that I made myself from MAC. All of these are the Oh, I got to put it in the video, but I know that one right here, right here is my um, foundation that I depotted, um, the AJ Crimson, and the AJ Crimson, and two of them that's in here is my, um, from, no, three of them are from Black Opal, and then this one, how creamy it is, that's the AJ Crimson. And the rest in there that's kind of look dry, but they're not our MAC. Um, I have to put them in the um, in this video, the name of it. Um, but yeah, this is the one I made. Um, I have my Anastasia uh, Cream Contour Kit. It's just too dry for me, and I could possibly use it on someone else. So, yeah, um, I have a setting powder, pressed setting powder from Ben Nye, and this is in the kit. Um, yeah, I have another blush palette right there. I have this palette that I messed up hard because I dropped it twice and I tried to make it work for me. I use these mainly to contour or um, set the face, highlight and contour just to set underneath the eyes or set the contour or just set the whole face. Same way with this one too. I usually use this one to set the face and set underneath the eyes. Then I have this one right here. This is um, Anastasia Contour Palette. I want to get another one for darker skin, but this one is mainly for people that's you know a little bit lighter. Um, and I have a Sasha Cosmetics. Um, blush palette, and I think this is the the darker shade, not the lightest ones. So that's all of my kit. I have it's one, two, three, four levels. I'm not really liking this one, but I would probably get another one. If anybody have a uh, a good one they think I should get I would love 
for them to, you know, tell me about it. So yeah, I have my sponges, my foundations, my blush.